Up next on UBC, brought to you by Hamam Spa and Salon Drift to Serenity. My guest tonight possesses a special kind of jesehua. He calls it a clot. He has a fair and well-versed profile. You know, he's so humble and cool and collected. This week, we're all about diversity. We're all about celebrating people from different kind of generations, people from different kind of genres. Thank you very much for tuning into the best of the good life. I'm Drago. This is Hamam Saloon Spa, and uh, they are located on Fairway Hotel. Maurice is busy doing his job. I hope he will impress him at the end of the day. So, what we're going to do, we are going to get celebrated by him. And then we are also going to be inspired plus getting motivation. Stay tuned and please pay attention to the special Washington Mr. Kagua, who is a cocktail of personality. He's a musician. He's a pastor. And at the same time, he's a well-described fine artist whose work has manifested for over years and decades. Don't go anywhere. We take a little break and we return back shortly with chilling. Come relax. Indulge. Enjoy and experience the beauty of relaxation. Feel pampered and rejuvenated with our unique state-of-the-art massage chairs and weight loss machines. Hamam Spa and Salon is located at Fairway Hotel. For bookings, contact us on... Mom Spa and Salon Drift to Serenity. Thank you very much for staying glued to the best of the good life. I'm Drago and this is chilling now. As promised before that commercial break, I told you that I have in the house, I have a very special gentleman. He goes by the name of Mr. Kagua Washington. Welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for sparing your time. It's, and it's a pleasure to come and be hosted. On You're such special. A show. Do you really? know what makes you special? No. Because I told my audience we're all about diversity tonight. Okay. And uh, you're a person who comes from a different generation. Generation. Okay. So, more, this is more of a cross generation thing. Yeah. I, I can, I how can are you? That. I'm fine. In all your years, how did you manage to juggle whatever, say, be, being a fine, uh, fine artist, artist and then mm -hmm. being a poster, a man of God at the same time, mm -hmm. as well as now you've also added one on your CV, you're a radio presenter. Okay. As you grow, yeah. you happen to interface with several things and have to accept things as they roll out for you. Yeah. Like, I did not know I was going to grow into an artist. I wanted to be a pilot. Wow. Yeah. What happened? That was, okay. The, the civic situation by then, in the 70s, was not promoting education. People who were highly educated were getting killed. And uh, I got disappointed and discouraged. I don't push for it. Wow. When I finished my O-levels, I dropped out. I wanted to join McKelley for mature entry, and I didn't know what exactly to do. So I was dreaming. Yeah. yeah. There was no motivation for education, at least for me. I, I had a lot of things of, going for me. Yeah, a yeah. gentleman of, uh, you say you're 61? One. 61. 61. Yeah. This is so incredible. Mm. You, how have you even managed to stay looking this year? One, I, avoid, I avoided something, some stuff that uh, could easily corrode your personality and uh, physical features. That's drugs and other things. Yeah. I was on them before. 
I got give my life to Christ. Excuse me, say that again. Can I was on drugs yeah. before I gave my life to Christ. Wow. That is 1981. So I believe that altered my way of looking, and I've kept myself healthy in such a way. Wow. Mm. Did it feel sort of like a redemption for you? Whoa, really? Turn around. Yes. And get a second chance of it. Yes, in a meaningful way. You are. Yeah. Something that I failed to mention in the introduction, mm. I would have, because now I would have brought my point home. Mm -hmm. You are a brother to a famous actress. Yeah. She goes by the name of Madame. Narwe Iso, but her actual name is Asala Nagawa. She's always saying Tongo. How are you related? Are you actual relatives? Yes. Oh, yes. Blood yes. relatives. She's older than me. Let me ask Brian. <laughs> Let me ask Brian, the person behind the scene, or Lois, who's yeah. right there in your camera. Mm -hmm. uh, do they have a striking resemblance? If you look closely, look at me. Say, <laughs> yes, I'm composing <laughs> myself because He's I composing know. composing himself for this. Yeah? Yes. Wow, I mean, uh, your sister uh, pulling out this at this age. Uh, I mean, I w how comes it escaped you? How, how did you turn out to be an actor? I think. Uh, because I turned out to be a Christian and a born again Christian, I I refrained from certain activities and focused on the gospel. Hmm. Because if I pursued my music career, I would have made it to some of the great bands like Afrigo, or Renzori, or had any any of those bands in the seventies. Hmm. I had all the qualities. Yeah. But in nineteen seventy eight I made up my mind to leave music. Yeah, but of but course, if I stayed, mm. I was in the theater, I was in the limelight yeah. before her. Oh. Because she was in, with the theaters in the 70s, but not so serious. But recently she chose to, to do what she felt so much. Are at you her. proud of her? Very much. Do you ever watch her work? Yes. Wow. Mm. To most of us who are deception mm. avid fans, <laughs> you know, it's produced with, from another network. Mm. At times we spend time to watch her mm. and uh, to see her magic on screen. Mm -hmm. I have to say that when it comes to lifetime achievement, mm -hmm. she should be one of the recipients. Yes. But, you know, when you draw a correlation between mm -hmm. fine art mm -hmm. and acting, mm -hmm. they are related, it's all art. So for you, you decided to Take put on your passion into on fine, fine art, art and music, playing and the guitar. Music. Yeah. Specifically, yeah, and she chose to. She was, she was, she was a nurse. She went for a nursing course, but she didn't like it because that's what not her culture. And she went for a secretarial course and finished it, but she was not getting fulfilled. She tried dressmaking, but she was not again getting the fulfillment. Yeah. Finally, she she chose yeah. to take on acting because she had ever acted in one of the drama shows. Uh, I think it was written by Byron Kawadwa, yeah. Makula Gakurabako. And the Kauru, uh -huh. uh, yeah, those are seventies. I'm talking about the seventies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to and, say uh, I need to Google those. So, yeah. uh, finally, when, when she came of age, she chose to do what she feels comfortable with. So, now, for me, I was in art. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of guitar, mm. we are going to be blessed to, okay. to uh, be serenaded by you, so. mm. and uh, I can't wait. Mm. I can't wait because it has been a, a dry run of having people, such people who come here on the mm. show and serenade us. Mm. Me and my audience will be so delighted. So, let us trace back. Okay. Get back to the beginning. Mm. At the age of around 18, mm. 17, okay, even further 15. Okay. Which kind of child were you growing up? I was very artistic. When I found wet clay or soft clay, I would mold something out of it. Give me a plain paper, I'll draw something on it. That was my typical life. Very quiet and reserved. Wow. And I used to make guitars, my own handmade guitars. Wow. They were not as good as this one, but that's what I used to do. Things that occupied me were How did those drawing. look like? I have, I have one in my museum. <laughs> a sure? very crude shape, but yeah. it did what I wanted. Wow. So I was that, mainly. Uh, Re revolving through uh, around three major activities painting music, music and martial arts Woo! some of this yeah some of that 
Do you still have some of the moves? Um, or you're yes, I know the moves, but when you don't do practice, you lose some of it. But you, oh, it can't go rusty, away. You're yeah, rusty. Yeah, yeah. I'm rusty. <laughs> but you can't joke with me. Yeah. Yeah, I can take you on <laughs> was, and surprise was you. Was martial arts as vibrant as it was then? And yes, it was introduced now. in the 70s. By the, uh, you know, when I mean started gymnastics, yeah. then we are introduced the Korean art of uh, fighting, which is Taekwondo from the prisons. Tell me, give me a window. Um, I mean, we are kids who are grown in the 90s, right? Mm. The, the sport fraternity mm. during the 70s, I mean, his regime was supposed to be a record win. Yes. How come? He was a sportsman, he was a heavyweight boxer, champion. He was a, a rally driver. He understood sport. Yes, and he liked life, he enjoyed life. So whenever there is some kind of activity that brought, off, brought out life in his fullness, you'll find him there. And it's not because he encouraged it so much. I think the generation was so stirred up by, uh, in, particularly in boxing, we had Muhammad Ali, yeah. uh, you know, taking on Frazier and being knocked out, and then we have Foreman. People were fascinated with that kind of games. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where were you when uh, Muhammad Ali was in Congo? In Congo. Yeah. I was right here in Kampala and we watched it live on our, uh, at our home TV. Black and white. Black and white. Yeah. We, we had a satellite by then, so it was telecasted live. And we had the entire village coming to our home just to watch that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we, are, we are the only members in the community that had a TV, 24 yeah. inches. Mm. And so we drew a lot of people to come. What did the arts and music mean to you? You said mm. you, you were invested into the arts yes. when you were at a tender age. What yeah. did that particular mean to you? I think it shaped my entire life and character. Because I would not spend time uselessly or aimlessly. I was either doing one of those three. In the mornings, I would do my workups for the martial arts and then sit on my brushes and start painting. And then the evening, we had a group and we would practice together. Huh. After the practices, then I would play my guitar and I would teach my siblings how yeah. to play the guitar. Yeah. And that was my day. Wow. Yeah, so I was within those, that simple triangle. Mm. Mm. Because uh, nowadays what the youth are doing mm. They are using the arts mm -hmm. and music mm -hmm. as an easy escape away from the mischief. Yeah. You know, the mischief, you're talking about mm -hmm. drugs, mm -hmm. you're talking about, you know, a whole lot of nasty mm -hmm. stuff. Was that also sort of the case for you? No, I just liked music. Wow. I, I did it just for liking it. I just loved music. Okay. So because while taking it, I was influenced by drug. I was introduced to the drugs. And because I was attached to music and the people who were having something to contribute to my life had also the drugs on their side. Why, why, why is there a relationship between the arts and, I'm sorry to say this, drugs? Yeah, I know you guys are going to mm -hmm. not agree with this, but mm -hmm. you know most musicians have found a way of finding comfort through drugs. Well, I think it's peer pressure. You can do music without drugs. I've been doing music ever since. I got saved in 1981 and I've not been on drugs ever since. But oh. I've I've kept on producing music and I play the guitar. Within all your time growing up, did you get a special, um, a, a special chance to go to school? Yes. You started from which schools? I went from Tinder Primary School, Nassau Primary School, then I joined St. Jude, and then finally Colorado Senior Secondary School. Okay, did yeah. you go to the Ivory Tower? No. No? Yeah, as I told you, the, the generation at that time, education was nothing. Check, check this out. We are going to take a break and we'll be right back shortly as we uncover, find out why you <laughs> didn't make it to the Ivory Tower. Mm. But then, still later on, he's going to uh, serenade us with uh, one of his uh, you know, masterpieces. I want to, to see what you possess. He can't, he can't show us some karate moves, but I'm sure he will show us some guitar skills. Don't go anywhere. This is still in the best of the goal life. Stay tuned. Indulge, enjoy, and experience the beauty of relaxation. Feel 
pampered and rejuvenated with our unique state-of-the-art massage chairs and weight loss machines. Hammam Spa and Salon is located at Fairway Hotel. For bookings, contact us on Hammam Spa and Salon Drift to Serenity. Mr. Kagua's talent stretches right from being a musician to an artist to a God's man. <laughs> How can I call it? I want to find the best coin for it. Um, minister? Gospel minister. A gospel, gospel minister. minister. That makes it real flat. That makes it real flat. Yes. A gospel minister mm -hmm. who is also in the building. And now we are very fortunate enough that he's going to be serenading us with one of his pieces. So, ladies and gentlemen. Take a closer look and listen as you drift. Okay. You can sing along with me. It's just a simple line. Yo, yo, hey, yo, yo, mama, yo, yo, mama. That's what you sing. Yo, hey, yo, yo, mama, yo, mama. Yo, yo, hey, yo, yo, mama, yo, yo. Ori mucha o murunja singanze mama oh eh yo yo mama yo yo wadi tamula nyobu ne se nari bula yo yo eh yo yo mama yo yo mama ori mucha o murunja singanze mama yo yo eh yo yo mama yo yo mama I want to group to that. <laughs> so, just a wow. like that play and then they would get, they would feel entertained. Wow. So, I was I, I started to deviate from being a, a, a rhythmist, yeah. a core rhythmist playing just phrases. Yeah. Then I started to compose solid music, yeah. compiled together mm -hmm. like Kadongo Kam. Wow. And then I started imitating Christopher Sevaduka. Yeah. And then I was. One play. man band. Yes. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Yeah, Sorry, <laughs> let us put this right here. Yeah. Let me be careful with yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. That'll help you. And uh, the what? way how you made it yeah. so simple, eh? yeah. effortless. Music. Mm. What, when you listen to music of these days, mm. what does it speak to you? It's it, okay. In all genre. Mm -hmm. Let us not talk about, criticize only secular okay. music, yeah. but gospel as well. Gospel music is empty, mostly empty. It's lightweight. And uh, I'm sorry to say, but some secular music is rich. If I was to listen to music and enjoy it, I would li li uh, listen to music like uh, El, El, El Shama Mamala's music. It's co full of content and subject. I would listen to uh, this guy. Uh, he died in a car accident, Kadongo Kamu artist. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he I, I want you to mention people of yes. this, of uh, this, this trend. Yeah. This trend. Yeah. Now, in, in regards to this trend, there are people who are coming out with good music. But for me, I become a critic because when I feel that there's something lacking mm. in the music, I, I can't help but feel it. To somebody who is quite naive about music, they will consume whatever comes out. But the musician is very picky. So I, what are the lyrics? What is the story? What are the instruments? What's the arrangement? What's the sound? Is it getting mixed up? If a lot of uh, instruments are playing and they are overcrowding the voice, mm. then I don't get the message. I'm just enjoying the, the guitar. If the words, the syllables are not articulate, then I'm just enjoying sound, not music. I chose to do this in style. I, you're a fine artist. Mm. You are an excellent fine artist. Mm. And I requested you to come with one of your pieces. This is a picture of my mother when she was 25, around 25. This? Yes, it is magnified. It was a passport size photo, you know, damaged like you see it. So I liked it. She looked beautiful. Wow. So what I chose is to try 
and repaint it, it. with a pencil, colored it's, pencils. It's like rebirth. Yes. So oh, wow. That's how I keep. And you did this? <laughs> yes. Some twenty years ago. Wow. You guys see this? <laughs> Maurice, have you seen this? Yeah, I can see it. It's very nice. And it was just like a hobby. I'm just not very serious, but trying to do what I can do in my leisure time. Telling you <laughs> a cocktail of uh, different things. And this is a, a golden god fish. Mm. This kind of fish. Finding Nemo. Esther, isn't this Nemo? <laughs> they they, they drain coral, coral reefs. Yeah. And this is a, this is a tiny, it's a Maasai picture. Mm. Uh, you know, this. Uh, Boabob trees. Uh, did you ever try to make bigger prints of these and sell them? I've sold some, that's why I, this is the only remnants I, I have mm. with me. The mm. others I've sold off. Mm. Yeah. And wow, the texture is also amazing. Yeah, try, you know, keep on trying this. Mm. Uh, this, uh, this. This was a lesson by one of the famous artists called David Waswa. He passed on yeah. several years ago, but he was teaching me his way of painting. And I, I enjoyed the coloration, and I, I'm developing that. So that I hope to do that as I age out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to die out just like <laughs> as that. As you fade I, out. Yeah, as, as I fade out, yeah. I want to do more of those kind of things. Do you have any social media uh, handles? People can follow you. Yes, I've got a Facebook account. Yeah. Uh, it's Washington Sabina Kakwa. Is it active? It's not very because I'm not good at it, but I've got people working on it. Should. And the radio program I present called Chumulo Cham Kama Fate has got also uh, that uh, Facebook platform. Yeah. I'm on WhatsApp. I'm trying to catch up with the generation. <laughs> <laughs> WhatsApp is good, but it's a little you know, bit yeah, private. <laughs> it, it's not well managed. It's, it's difficult to manage. So I'm opting for Facebook. Yeah, and I'm still new yeah. at that platform. You should also get acquainted to Twitter and yes. uh, Instagram. You see, Instagram is all about what people can see and like. I'm you beginning. Post most of I'm getting there. to know that. Yeah. You know, you can see my generation. Yeah. You are the dot com people. We yeah. are just. Uh, Esther, is, Esther is quite good at <laughs> all these Instagram things. Yeah. He will, uh, she will give yeah. you some tips. Ask Shami in, please. I want to be in the generation. I don't want to be left behind. As I mentioned earlier, <laughs> this show now is all about diversity. And tonight, mm. we are all about celebrating this gentleman right here, mm. Mr. Kagua Washington. Bra I mean, a brother to Nareis. So. A brother to <laughs> Nareis. So you say her real name is? Her, her real, name, her real names are Sarah Nagawa. She's Who is the she's elder? Of course, she's older than you, but I can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, the contrast is about really secret. Two, uh, two, 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 two. No, no, I, I can't, I can't push oh, yeah. it beyond that line. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah. yeah, he's decided to keep it anonymous. <laughs> Very wise, wise as well. Yeah. But hey, you're cutting up well. Don't, so. don't, don't be. Um, you know, one thing that I, I don't like mm -hmm. or what I discourage mm -hmm. is um, what they call. Um, Marginalization, mm. getting the elders and all the elderly and, and keeping and them in their bracket okay. and saying that the world doesn't belong, the mm. world is for all of us. Yes. That's why you've gotten an equal share mm. of uh, what chilling is all about. And I hope you've uh, chilled well. Yes. Thank you for serenading I us. I found it very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> give, and give me a shout out to, you, uh, to one of your programs. You give me a shout out, you'll be like, you know. Okay. Have that interesting program mm. somewhere, and uh, that young man, mm. I want to salute him. I'll get the yeah. details, and then I'll try to pitch in in my programs. What I'll I slot you in, what yes, I guess. I'll do that. Muse, mm. you get to sign our pillow. Thank you. You get to sign our Your pillow. Your pillow? Okay. Yeah. We have our pillow fame right there. I was looking at it, and I was wondering, mm. what is it all about? So I write my names, and then? No, you just do a signature. A signature, okay. Oh, you could even just write your name. There we go. Okay, this right here is Mzee's signature, right? Yes. Right here at the bottom. Washington, Sevina, Kagwa. You know, as an artist, the W is there, the yeah. K is there, and the S is there. Wow. Yeah. Is this your official signature? Yes. Okay. You can trace this and get my I, money from I'm my telling account. you guys, we're almost getting... <laughs> we're almost getting there. <laughs> Mzee, thank you very you're much. You're welcome, sir. Weber and Nyoba and Kalise. Yeah. Mm. Well, Mani, you're quite a busy person. You always have your audience uh, yes. waiting for you. So when can we catch you on uh, that station, you say? I'm on Speed FM every Monday morning, mm. every Wednesday morning, yeah. and every Sunday morning 
at 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for being a fantastic audience. You've been watching Chilling on UBC TV. Stay watching UBC TV. Have a good evening and bye. bye.